Hi, I'm AJ Dickens, and I'm the student crazy enough to produce an audio drama all on her own. Um, I decided to do my presentation about production, specifically about center, specifically centering around a creative vision and uh, leading a volunteer team. Uh, back in 2012, I wanted a Hulk movie really bad, and after searching a bit on Google, I discovered that Joss Whedon had said that he would not write one because it was too werewolfy for his tastes. Um, I took this as a challenge, as I do most things, and I decided at age 12 that I was going to write the first good Hulk script um, and prove that even a 12-year-old could do it. So this became my goal and I just dove into the screenwriting world. Um, for years, this screenwriting and scriptwriting dream has been a fantasy. Um, I read books on the side, these being some of my favorites, and I just devoured them. Pro tip, make a podcast about something you're already spending outside time in, because it'll make it more fun to devote hours to the project. Flash forward to this class. Last semester, I was an econ major, and this semester, I'm an English major. And this class um, was representative of taking a leap of faith. Um, I decided I was going to write, no matter what. Uh, this class was an answer to prayer, which I can say because we're at BYU. The syllabus came out and I realized I would have an opportunity to actually produce something that I helped create. This class is all about making yourself a marketable English major, which made my little econ major heart happy. I had about 40 ideas written out on my phone when I came into class the first day. I was fully prepared to pitch every single podcast I could possibly think of, and I eventually decided that I was going to pitch Isolation, uh, which you can see here. Um, isolation came to me a couple weeks in when I was looking back at a flash fiction piece I wrote called There is no technical definition for the irrational fear of ink. It seemed like it can work in the context of what we were doing, but I realized pretty quickly that the class wasn't so into audio drama because of how much work was going to go into it. Um, but I was stubborn and ready to produce, so I decided to produce it in 48 hours. Um, which really brought out the best in me. I wrote out all my scripts in a weekend. I cut the things I couldn't get to work, I added more characters, took advice from people that aren't writers, and even got advice from a professional writer who's a friend of mine, Jeff Summers, the author of the Avery Cates series and Writing Without Rules. So with a finalized beginning, middle, and end, I realized quickly that I needed a team of people that would actually back me up. All I had was volunteer labor, so I had to make sure these people were just as invested as I am. Uh, leading a volunteer team requires loyalty and passion. Loyalty to you as the producer and passion for the project, because without that, you're not going to get anything done. The main cast is all friends of mine who have worked in acting a bit before. I actually had to turn down a few people because I didn't think they fit the part. Um, even my grandpa ended up hopping on board, which was absolutely hilarious. Um, and my crew was one person, my roommate's boyfriend, who I could tell to do anything because he was always over. Um, overall, um, I made sure that I was in constant communication. I sent the scripts out as I wrote them and encouraged my team to make adjustments to lines or do things that they felt were more in character. We made jokes, celebrated successes, and made adjustments as a team. Schedules were sent out and I remained organized because I needed them to trust me. I worked with them. I changed things weekly, daily if I had to, just to make sure that my cast and crew was comfortable. It's an important thing that morale is up when you have a cast and crew of volunteers, because if they don't want to work, you're not going to get anything done. My biggest piece of morale was cosmic brownies, and I can guarantee that food is the way to anyone's heart. Um, by offering food and jokes and fun along with the work, I was able to get people to actually trust me. I love my cast and crew. I love this class. On our last night of production, I toasted to us and I started crying because this is the first time I've ever been supported in a creative endeavor. I love directing, producing, and writing, especially with this podcast. It was labor intensive, so if you're going to do an audio drama, look out. But I rose to the challenge. I felt like a real producer, putting out fires and solving problems for the sake of actually creating something, which is more than I could have asked for. I'm not going to stop writing after this class. I love what I'm doing, and I love the constant movement and problem solving involved with production. I decided to continue down this path, and I will be applying for the media arts minor in the fall. I am hopeful that if I can stay moving, stay creating, then I can actually follow my dreams. What I learned is that if I do want to write the only good Hulk movie, I just got to buckle down, take 48 hours, and actually produce. Thank you so much.